Welcome back uh, to the fourth tutorial of Aliyah Yakta Est, Roman, the Roman Civil Wars. Um, today's tutorial is going to be on the map overlay. Um, it's just kind of like a quick mention. There was a request to have videos in um, the higher quality. So I'm going to try to make this here in the YouTube HD quality um, for those of you that want that kind of higher quality. Of course, if you don't and you want to stream or download at a lower level, you can. Uh, I confess, I'm sort of used to, to watching videos in, in 360 um, from all my years overseas and just got back to the United States and kind of getting back into the super fast internet here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, anyways, um, so today's tutorial is going to be on the map overlay. I think that's a good continuation with yesterday's tutorial on just the map in general. And what it what the map overlay is going to do, it's going to show us information on the map in in different, well really just different types of information. Um, so when you when you first load in the game, you have a your default map is kind of like the, just a really traditional map. It has uh, the geography, it it shows cities. Um, it does have some extra information that that's changing, like whether or not there's snow and your units. Okay, like here is here is Caesar um, and Bonania. And by the way, when you click on someone, you can right click to get to go out of them and just go back to the message screen. Um, but what the map overlay is going to do, and this is a really great feature with AGOD games, is it tells you from a kind of a strategic and information standpoint, additional, just really kind of additional types of information. It's the kind of information that if you were Caesar or Pompey, that you would want to know. Um, yeah, you would, you would want to know if you, as you were making decisions. There are two ways to bring up the map overlays. One is by clicking on the symbols here. Um, for instance, here's like the, the two crosses that says shows the owner of all regions. Uh, shows the relative supply, et cetera. Um, we're going to go through them all, but another way of doing it, if you're, I might be just, I mean, some people prefer, you can just press the number one. So I can click on this, and it's going to bring up an overlay. I can unclick it, or click it again, and then it takes away the overlay, or I can press the number one. So the first one on the far left is, is also number one, and then the second one's up two. Okay, that's pretty obvious. Um, so I'm going to go through these, and we'll talk a little bit about each, what each overlay is, is showing. Um, so the first one, again, and I'm just going to bring that tooltip up, uh, shows the owner of all regions. So if you scroll out, you can kind of have a little bit of a, a kind of a wider map view of what we're seeing. We see a red color up here, okay, and you see kind of a, a purplish color up here. So if we go to Caesar again, um, he's in Bonania. I'm just going to highlight the Bonania uh, region. And if you look at about the sixth down, one, two, three, four, five, yep, six, military control Caesar. So Caesar, Caesar's forces, or you know, his faction really, they control this 100%. Now if you go down to Roma, you'll see that Pompeius controls this 100%, and they're different colors. So Caesar has a color, and Pompeius has a different color. Um, and you can kind of get an overview of who controls where. Okay, these are Caesar's forces. We sort of go down here into Hispania. Um, and that is, there we go, that's, I was looking for that the other day. What is the name of this in, in Latin? Hispania. Um, you can see Pompeius has his color. You see a really a different color right here, a green color. It's because the barbarians controlled this. So this was an area that was not Romanized. And if you go to Asia, or, or what the Romans called Asia, You'll see um, some other some other some other factions control it out here. Uh, this one is Thracia and Propontis. Um, there's some other interesting ones here. What is this here? This is uh, okay Galicia. Um, up here is oh Pompeius. They had captured. They had uh, controlled this here. And if you start going down farther to the right, you see again a, diff a very different color, and that's because this is controlled by. Um, Vignum Parthurum, or the, the Parthians. Um, so it's just really, there you go, it's, it's just who's controlling uh, the, the territories. And it kind of gives you a, a good overview of, well, who's in control of where, and it's really kind of an, a, a big overview, um, overview situation. 
So you can, I'll click on the second one. And um, what this is going to do is basically show uh, I'm sure your overall supply levels for certain situations. And in AGOD, green means supplied, and really red means unsupplied. And then you know you have kind of colors in between that uh, would be sort of partially supplied. So again, if we click go to where Caesar is, we'll see that fourth down current supply level is 34, and it's and it's green. So um, so that's it kind of shows you well where supply is and, and where it's and where it's not. Um, and by the way, so if you look at this, this is in this is in fog of war. We don't have information on that, so that's coming up automatically red. But we actually don't know what the supply level is there. It could be that the Pompeian forces have. Um, have have significant supply there. We significant supply there. We actually just don't know that. But if you kind of another way of, of seeing up here, um, Caesar does control this, and you'll see that it is not green. Uh, it's kind of an orangish type color, and uh, so it just means that you don't have as much supply there. It might be kind of as you as you would expect the where there are towns, there are tends to be more likely to be green than kind of out here and where there are no there are no towns and that you know really does uh, intuitively make sense um, I, I suspect that your supply lines are going to play a big issue in the game so let's go into the third one this is a really interesting part of how the game is going to work and it's called it's really based on strategic and objective towns so if you click on it, it says show where the strategic locations are, and then you're going to see two really sort of situations. One is a, a set color, and then one is a pulsating color. So, and that actually tells us different a different piece of information. So, Ravenna or Ravina here is a strategic city, and Salone is an objective city. Um, so basically, okay, what's the difference? Um, objective cities are always strategic cities as well, but it's a strategic city may not be an objective city. So that should tell you that okay, an objective city is more is more important. Um, in in both of the situations, there are going to be something there that you would like to have. It could be supply, you know, it could be could be money. And you know it could be, yeah, it could be something else. But um, so Roma, as you could probably guess, is a is a an objective town. Okay, actually this is a good. So it's a strategic town, and it's a Caesar objective town. So actually it has. If you look at the tooltip, um, it, it shows both of them there. Where if we go up to here, it just says strategic town. Um, so and I kind of mentioned this in the options menu the other day, talking about the tooltip. Um, the game gives you really a lot of detailed information through through the tooltip. So just another way of, of seeing what is there and kind of an overall an overall level. Um, so the next one we'll take a look at is regions alliances. And again, we kind of have an overall color: uh, Caesarian red and Pompeian. What color is that? <laughs> Don't know exactly, but you can definitely see the distinction. Um, and this is kind of interesting. So here we have a very red, it's 100 percent. And if you go to the Pompeians over here at 85 percent, that's kind of a, that's really a purple. And then here, Pompeians 65 percent, that's more of a purple gray mix. So that's actually the colors are quite detailed. So the more Pompeian loyalty that they have, the more purple it is, and uh, we can't really go into a lot about okay exactly what loyalty is doing, but it has an impact on on um, what you're able to produce uh, at a how much you're producing in in, in certain towns. Um, so there you go. Yeah, uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, 
So here I hear in Thracia, their loyalty is to Pompeians, but it's military controlled by uh, by Thracia. I'm curious to see what's I hear with the Parthians. Yep, loyalty Parthians, military control, or Estonia. Okay, so there is a distinction there. Um, another way of seeing this, if you want to kind of zoom in, is you can see the you can see the symbols. Or like, well, it's, their symbol colors are, are different, but I kind of like just to see the overall, the overall map. It gives you a good view of where the loyalty is where. Um, the next one shows uh, your different provinces: Italia, Corsica, Sardinia, and again, all this information for each specific one is found in the tooltip. So if I I'm, if I click on what do you mean to click and just kind of hover over so. Dinia, and you go right above that, um, you'll see it says loyalty, Pompeian 65%, supply level 0, um, and then civilization level. We didn't, there's not an overlay for that. But uh, so you can see the, a lot of the overlays sort of follow along the information in the tooltip. Uh, the next one is Grand Region. So we're going to go from, and again, it goes from province to Grand Region. So province here is Italia, and the Grand Region is Italia Peninsula. And then um, terrain, and this is a new one for me. This is and this is really interesting. Um, I'll have to learn what the different colors mean. Um, I suspect the green means kind of open and easy, and mountains. Yeah, so looks like the dark colors are the mountains. So that's that's pretty interesting. We have hills. So you can there you are the Italian Alps. Brown going down through the middle so the mountains, and as you should probably be able to guess, you know, going through mountains is going to be a lot slower if there's not a road, or if there is a road probably, than going through green where it's clear. All right, last one is weather, and this one's also a new one for me. Um, it's like, okay, yeah, so. These these last two overlays you can kind of see at the top says mountain snow and then here it's um, rain so you will, again we'll have to learn the colors of, of what they different mean if you want to kind of have a, a general overview and of course you can always look um, in the top left up here to see uh, what um, what the specific uh, what the specific weather is or or terrain uh, for that for that region. Um, yeah, so those are your overlays. You know, people you kind of you can people ask me, okay, like you know, what do you use a lot? I, I I like I use the supply one a lot, and I also use the strategic one a lot, especially when I'm I'm you know trying to plan. Okay, what am I trying to get to? Strategic city is it is it one of my objective cities? Um, so those are my two favorite. But I think you know at different points in the game, uh, you're gonna you know you use them all. Um, yeah, and these are new cool ones here. The was it for the at least for me the train and, and the weather one. They weren't part of the AGAD's American Civil War. Um, so you can you can get rid of all the overlays by just unclicking whatever whatever you're on um, one or just press one. You know, one again it gets you back to no overlay being displayed. Um, yeah, so those are the overlays, and that you know, that's I think it really adds a lot to the to the map, and it's going to give you a lot of options to see the map uh, in in a different way. Uh, all right, guys, uh, it's been another another show of Alia Yakta's Est um, tutorial tutorial number four map overlay. All right, see you next time.